Good morning. Hey, I was down here in the kitchen cooking a couple of things and I thought I'm going to follow up to some of the stuff we talked about with Azure yesterday. Um, as I put that in my caption or my title, a couple others came up of other people who use Azure and one moment went the five mistakes <laughs> that she's learned. I think it's all a learning curve for all of us, but um, for buying some bulk organic, whether you are, for my, myself, I run a business. So the first thing I found, I was looking for, this came up in a Google search and it was such a great price. This is my raw organic apple cider vinegar. Um, and this is repacked under the Azure label because they're buying it in such quantity that they bottle it themselves, put their label on it, and we purchase it at a better price than some name brands out there. Um, so, and at our job, I will say there are, there's at least three businesses that are picking up. It's me, Big Indian Bakery, and um, Eco Village Farm. And I think that's awesome that we're allowed, I have to figure out how to go in there and be a tax exempt person, because I because I am reselling, I should do some of those things. So again, it's a learning curve I'm in under Teresa Allen at this point, as opposed to Peace and Harmony Farm, because I am still buying for our own personal stuff, but not as much. So I wanted you to know, like, what do I buy? What have I found that worked for, for me? So another biggie that I started with, and I'm just gonna run across the table with you, um, is organic cane sugar. So <laughs> this is empty, because I just filled my um, Cambro back there. I bought it in large quantity. This is a 25 pound bag. I used to buy it in 50s, and if you listen to this other person's thing, She's right, it, there's different sizes of things and I would go in and get a fifth and they're sold out or they're back ordered or it'll be in stock after my drop has shipped from Oregon. And so I was like, well, 225s equal a 50. So they had 25s. And that's easier also for me to, to carry because I'm in the basement. I gotta get it up and down the stairs, gotta get it in the house, bring it down. And also, it's exactly what fits in my Cambro, and I don't have one. It looks like this. This is my elderberries. This is a 22-quart Cambro, and 25 pounds will fit in there for me. Perfect. So I don't have to open a 50-pound bag and leave it open either. Um, they have storage containers. I, I bought these. I was like, great, because my larder's over there. You can't see that today, but one day we'll walk through it. Um, I got that in. And here's my first one, another mistake I made. It didn't come with a lid. So follow down the thing and find a lid that would go with it. Um, I also like their Parmesan cheese. You know, I don't want cardboards and what they said is in some of that stuff. I really like, I make pesto. I make metal pesto and I make basil pesto to sell at market. I can buy a five gallon bucket or a five pound bucket. And I really, I like, the quality of that and it makes my pesto awesome uh, I did this was a new one I did a coconut oil I do use that in my lip balm and I can use this to cook with I personally like the raw cold pressed coconut oil because I like I still like the flavor of coconut I like the smell of the coconut but this will be good for cooking and for my um, lip balm I love their organic butter so Jim is unsalted, I'm salted, um, and I bake for market also, so I need to buy these in quantities. They come in eight ounce bricks. I think you can buy them in five pound quantities, 10 pound quantities. So I, I constantly have this in the refrigerator. And now, <laughs> even if I buy organic in the grocery store, I don't like it anymore. This is a European style organic. And I also see that Big Indian Bakery, who's our local bakery who makes sourdough breads and croissants cases come off the truck he's using the same so I know like even our local producers are using organic in their product line which to me is delightful um, MCT oil I do make um, bullet coffees this is something ingestible that means medium chain triglycerides easily absorbed good brain fuel we'll talk about all those things if you have questions Throw me a thing out there, like, are you interested in? I, it was keto a bit, but you know, there's good and point, bad points to everything, and I just, moderation and everything is good. I buy cases of my coconut milk, because it's on, um, 
organic 18 percent um, fat you know like half of this is the is solid this goes in my popsicles so again this is a business thing and some of the other coconut milk I use one second I'll grab it off the shelf I also use so delicious organic but they don't carry it so I have to find this somewhere else but you are allowed to suggest products so I don't know why they don't carry this but I'm gonna suggest it because it would make it much more convenient if I could pick all this up because popsicle season will be here before we know it and I need to, I use organic coconut milk in my product line so what else black beans so I can make soup I can make black bean burgers so I buy this is a five pound bag and I also I buy all of my brown rice this is in a Ziploc because I keep it in the refrigerator um, and I, the other five pounds I have is in the freezer. I left one out and left it in, I do them in the half gallon ball mason jars. <laughs> went to make it one day and you could see that I had either eggs had hatched or whatever and I'm like, oh, I'm not storing this properly or I had it on the shelf too long. So now I, I choose to um, refrigerate or freeze these. I'm not to the Mylar bag five gallon bucket yet, but we're working on that. Um, to have it on hand down here. Cause I am in the basement and right now my temperature is, I'm at 59 degrees down here. So I can store enough things and things aren't gonna go bad. Then, oh, garbanzo beans, because I love red pepper hummus. So I've learned to cook these off, put them in, freezer bags for the exact amount for my recipe. And I have all my roasted red peppers from the garden from the winter and I make my own hummus. I still buy it when I don't have time, but I like the option of being able to make it from scratch. Um, pine nuts, again, for the pesto that we make. Some of the best pricing I've ever found on pine nuts. Like Jim has always said, like, God, if we didn't own this 25 years ago, we'd have planted these pine trees. But it takes 25 years to come to fruition, so maybe, and you've got to climb up the tree, I guess, to get them. And I think I, I'd have to look back. The last time I bought it was about $17 a pound. If you go to the health food store to buy an organic pine nut, and it is $33. So it was not cost effective for me to keep making my pesto, and people love our nettle pesto. We'll talk about that in the spring when it comes back up. It's doing it right now. I brought non fat milk powder. Uh, I want. We have a cocoa shop or a coke chocolate here in Floyd, um, Coco Mia, awesome. <laughs> and I love his hot chocolate. I will still buy, I got it in my stocking for Christmas. It was awesome. But I wanna learn how to make some of my own. So I, I bought the milk powder. I have also the um, powdered sugar. I have co cocoa from them wasn't quite as cost effective. So some things you'll have to do a little research with. Can you get it? an organic source better in your grocery store, in Earth Fair, Whole Foods, your local co-op. And I shop all of those to see like, what's my best price before I go out and buy um, some of this. One of my last things, um, I now make, I do make my own granola. I've made my own granola for myself. But being at Market, and we are right next to Virginia Tech, students love when you bake for them. They don't always have the time. They're looking for something homemade because mom's not there all the time. So I've started making granola. I bake for them. I make cookies and I make um, breads, sweet breads. I'll do chocolate mint cookies and apple bread and pumpkin bread. And that's just kind of something fun. But now I'm buying 25 pounds of organic thick rolled oats because that's what I like that's in here. That won't quite fit in one of these, but this is what I'm using at this point to make ours and once this is finished I'll put the fresh in. So it's not a one-stop shop but it's a great shop um, and again as the woman said she had in her five mistakes I will tell you one of mine. So we get a cutoff date we usually get a month after your delivery um, so my cutoff is this Monday and because I'm on the East Coast it's four o'clock seven o'clock out there because you got to think all this stuff is coming from Oregon and it's like a conveyor belt of trucks coming across the, the country. There are days I've placed my entire order and I didn't check out because you think like you're going to remember and it could be 401 and I'm not going to get my order because I forgot. 
So you have the option when you first start. So I've already, I've gone in yesterday. I started ordering for next month because I was like, can I get to March um, and not have to go in February? I started, but what I'll do is complete the checkout. You can keep shopping. You can edit. You can delete. Some of your stuff might not, but check out <laughs> so that you know when it does close. If you've forgotten your cutoff time, you're still going to get an order. Um, and I've gotten hung on that, especially with apple cider vinegar. And I'd be like, oh, you know, and then I, I run to Walmart. They do carry Shenandoah organic raw apple cider vinegar. I like this better. But then you have to scramble sometimes, especially if you're running a business. It's a little easier um, being a homeowner and doing some of this. But as a business, I have to be proactive and thinking ahead so that I always have product in here so that I can keep producing. So I think I've covered most everything about it. I'll add some more links to that. And you can and check the sale ads. Their, their product line is huge. I mean, we have people at our job buying some of their animal feed. So like some of our drops are huge. So we can, we, if she catches, we, we have a person. Um, Susan is my drop coordinator and everybody gets one. And I watched yesterday in that other video and those other folks, Susan hands us ours. If you haven't printed out what you're getting, she's got it for you. Everybody gets a piece of paper. This is how many cases you have come on off the truck. Here it is. If you're not here, our trunks are open. We're not putting it. If you're here, it goes straight in your van. Um, and so she had said she didn't know if she'd gotten all her stuff. And things are repacked in boxes that have nothing to do with what's inside of it. So I kept getting all these french fry boxes. I'm like, I didn't order any french fries, but you got to open it up and you go, oh, look, they stuffed all this stuff inside there. So check it off your list. They can't do anything for you at the truck. These are independent truckers across the country that's a relay system to get it to all the drops um, and you have to be flexible. You might get a, this guy got stuck in a snowstorm or he got caught in um, construction on I-81. It's delayed. So keep an eye on your email. Susan's really good at that with us. You're like, hey, it's going to be whatever, XYZ, 930 on Tuesday, but please get there. Always show up early. If this guy's here early, they're gonna start off loading that truck. <laughs> so I try to make sure I, I am 35 minutes, 40 minutes from my drop. Yesterday, the woman on that video said she's an hour and a half. So it's a commitment to go and to make it worth it. But it, it is for me and maybe for you, a, a good option. Um, and if you don't have a drop near you and you can get enough people you could become the coordinator and get some to get closer to your area. But check it out, They're, they've increased a lot. And I will tell you since our pandemic, everybody being home, we increased hugely. And I, I remember I just, I forgot where I was going with the, with the feed, but those people, we get them to back their truck up to there so that we're not hauling 50 pound bags of animal feed very far. We get in his truck and then he can move out of the way. But I was like, oh, when I get chickens again, he's saying the chicken feed is very cost effective. So there's many things to look at. I think they have like, you know, hair stuff and beauty and health stuff and besides foods and frozen. I'm not doing frozen anymore because I'm finding that my drivers no longer have a refrigerated truck. So they're wrapping it in a blanket. And I've heard from like Eco Village, he had ordered ice cream because he sells it in his farm store. He wanted an organic, so it came melted. So I'm a little leery of some of that. And I don't know that I want to order any cases of produce. I'd rather buy local if you could, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe a carrot and an apple would be okay. But I've seen some, I'm on the East Coast too, so you gotta remember, it's come all the way across the country. If you're closer to Oregon, that might be a, a quick, a better option for you. So again, just do some research. Wanted to follow up with that. I want everybody to have a great day. It's getting a little chilly. My hands are cold down here, so it's time to go outside. It's, we actually have a sunny day, so. I'm going to head outside to the greenhouse and keep planting. Have a great day.